hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm back with another video and on today's video i'm going to be showing you how i moisturize my braids as you can see they're looking a little bit dry actually a lot of dry so i haven't oiled them in i think two weeks now so ever since i i did my braids i oiled them i think the same night that i was done and ever since then i haven't done it it's just been like a crazy week so I am going to show you guys how I keep them moisturized, how I oil them and how I uh, make them look healthy. And so the oil that I'm using is Kaka oil. I hope I'm saying it right, but it's Kaka oil and it's infused with Sheba powder. I made it myself. I will link it down below. I got the kit from um, Take A Lot. I came with um, the Kaka oil and also the Sheba powder in like a little pack so i made um so i infused the oil with the um shave powder so this is the first product i'm going to be using and the way i like to use it i like to go in from um one side to the other just like applying it going back and then massage it so it also came with this bottle which is nice and i just poked like a hole there so i just squeeze out the oil as I go like so it's a little bit thick because I also added some of my Jamaican um, black castor oil and I also added um, MPL original oil mostly for the smell because this thing doesn't really smell that good and then once I'm done with that I just take my finger and like massage it on before it like runs And then move to the second row. So the MPL um, original oil has like that um, minty, peppermint eucalyptus smell scent to it. And it also like just make my scalp breathe. So it's a little bit thick because of that. So I just massage it on so I'm just gonna continue doing this until I am done with my whole entire head And I did use a cheesecloth to um, sift the oil through the, uh, so that I can like get rid of the powder but it didn't really work well because there's still some um, residues left but it's not really like a big deal. Um, yeah, so next time maybe I'll try to use something like a stocking or something like that um, or maybe like just fold the cheesecloth um, more than once
and once i'm done i just like to take my fingers again and just keep massaging it in and as for losing braids i've only lost like two braids right here at the back because my hair is still a little bit shorter at the back and now that i am done with applying i'm just gonna take the same oil again and do like a a run here on my edges in the front and again massage it in and now i'm done oiling i am moving to the actual braids because you also want your braids to look healthy i mean it's synthetic hair so it doesn't really hold the moisture what i like to use is this um it's not a braiding spray but if you have a braid spray like those oil sheen sprays those work really really well i don't have one with me here but what i have is this kale moisturizing spray by star safra i love the fact that it's a little bit thick it's not watery so as you can see i'm not sure if you guys can see it's a little bit thick so it's not just like water and it's super moisturizing so i find that it actually works well with synthetic hair because like i said the synthetic hair doesn't really hold moisture and if you try to spray something like um or if just using like oil it will end up like on your clothes on your pillowcases so i try to use something that is a little bit thicker so this is what i'm going to use and i'm not going to apply a lot i'm just applying a little bit and while i'm applying i'm actually just like smoothing it in so that it doesn't stay in one area and i'm not really like just going in section i'm actually just holding like all my braids at once and just rub it in so this is just going to um make my braids look a little bit moisturized and not as dry I'm gonna do another round you don't really have to add a lot but um, enough <laughs> so I am done with that and it, they don't really feel wet like they just feel fresh and nothing is running onto my clothes there's nothing on the floor so now I'm going to tie my hair up while I do my edges so now I'm going to take some got to be glued which look like this and this is the water resistant spiking glue um, it looks like this it's the yellow one I got it from take a lot as well and I'm taking my little edge brush and I'm going to lay down the edges And then I'm also going to take my wrapping forming lotion and just take a few pumps to apply them on top here so that everything can lay down flat and nice and smooth. So this is how my hair looks now 
it looks clean it looks moisturized like there's no dry areas and it's actually feeling like fresh so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll see you guys on my next one bye